along with survivors of the nuclear apocalypse. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas and playing hardball. So we are here, the doctor patched us up. We are so far, we are fine. We are wearing the Vault 21 jumpsuit. We have some other stuff and let's actually, let's have a look at that firstly. How that actually looks. Oh yeah, that looks like the end times for sure. This one here, lightweight metal armor. Oh yeah, okay, well. That one slows us down though, which I don't like. Agility minus one. I mean, the damage threshold is pretty okay though. Lightweight armor. Lightweight leather armor. That looks actually like what I want. Cause no slowdown and damage threshold of 8. And this here is the same, but it's uh, the Armored Vault 13 jumpsuit. It's actually the coolest probably, but it weights what, 15, right? So this here is probably the best way. But yeah, now that we are firstly we are talking with people, let's wear the jumpsuit. And yeah, let's go. Uh, outside. Ooh. Okay. Ah, yeah. Well, it is. It is uh, very light outside. We've got a fragmented signal on our Pip Boy coded transmission of some sort with a sad, jazzy undercurrent that makes our head hurt. As far as we can tell, it appears to be an invitation to the midnight science fiction feature at the Mojave Drive In. Please arrive early to catch the trailers. Okay, this is the uh, the DLC. Level cap has been raised by five. Pip Boy has received another ma a signal. Can you wreckage west of Prim? Courier six. Signed Ulysses. Okay, another DLC. Pip Boy has picked up another radio broadcast from Happy Trails Caravan Company. They are looking for one more member for an expedition to Zion Valley. Interesting. On his heart has been loaded. So that's nice. Oh yeah, and this is so. This is uh, oh, there's a robot. Run Gunners Arsenal. The ongoing conflict in the Mujaf wasteland has kicked weapon manufacturers into high gear. All major and minor weapon dealers in the region are rolling in new weapons, ammunition types, and modifications. Head to your nearest participating vendor to purchase the merchandise. Gun Runners Arsenal has been loaded. Yeah, another DLC. I didn't know that binoculars are a weapon, but... Sierra Madre, grand opening. Your pit boy has picked up a radio broadcast inviting you to the grand opening of the Sierra Madre Casino. Oh, dead money has been loaded. Okay, another DLC. There's a person there working in his garden or her garden. And well, they do have a robot that seems to be patrolling there. A lone bird. Some animals. Some farm animals. Well then, and here we are, right? Let's... DPS 16. Oh, yeah, and this one here is damage 8. 25. Damage 8. Oh, this is 16. So, for some reason, this pistol is actually better. Okay, well. So now I'm actually. Uh, I'm just saving. I'm saving. I want to try something because it said. It said that uh, we can modify something, right? And you saw that I do have two uh, save games now. So like this one, it seems to be better than the 9mm pistol or what? Damage 16. No, yeah. Ah, but this one is... Uh, this is so in such a bad, uh, in such a bad condition, that's the thing, right? Well, 
So X for modification. Oh, we don't have anything. Okay. Exit. Okay. Maintain. Repair. Can't repair it. Well, we don't have anything. Okay, well, um, oh, sorry. Yeah, we don't need any weapons right now. Clicking on R, like reload, also uh, puts the weapons away. All right. It's a sneak mode. How, how do we, we were actually? I should. I should. Uh, are we auto running? Let me just check something. Strafe back. Activate left shift. Yeah. Our uh, caps lock is auto always run. Okay. Okay then. Easy Pete. This is the saloon. Hello, Easy Pete. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Why are you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Uh huh. You were a prospector, like digging for gold and silver? Nah, nah. Means I poked through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Yeah, okay. Did you find ever uh, find anything good while prospecting? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Oh, okay, that's understandable. You mentioned this NCR, what's wrong with it? Don't get me wrong, the NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Hmm. Okay. Tell me about the Legion. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back, and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. Legionaries, so they are like... mimicking old Rome or whatever. What's important about that Hoover Dam? The dam powers a lot of New Vegas. And then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Aha, uh -huh, interesting. Okay. And, well, I saw some animals over there. I think they're called bighorners, right? What do you use them for? Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find a uh. bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. Uh huh. And do you know anything about Victor? I heard Victor uh, saved me actually. The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. That sounds kind of sad. Do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. 
Can't be trusted, I'd say. Okay, thanks for the warning. Okay, then, see you later. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Oh, that's good to know, thanks. All right. Good, so... We learned a little bit. Uh, actually, how about... Yeah, well, the, the robot is far away, so I guess it was the robot running around there. But let's go in here and speak with uh Cheyenne stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. You are a lady with kind eyes and a slight mustache. Well, Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. By the way, nice to meet you. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Alright, that sounds interesting. Ah yeah, now we can also sneak. Flashing arrow on your compass shows the location of your objective. Hello, kind sir. Way too many strangers coming into town these days. No offense. None taken. Oh, the... Did she walk out there? That's for gentlemen. Well, I guess it was, huh? Someone broke down that door. Oh, this is for the ladies. The ladies are the only ones who get who get a decent bathroom. Restroom. Okay, there, there are drinks in there. Ah, there she is. <coughs> okay. Now, Hello. see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Oh, we got a rifle, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, so we are a little bit shaky there. That's the right idea. Look down the site. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm in. Follow me. It's just that down sounds to the like fun. Short ways. Thanks. I also like your kind eyes. Although the rifle is in really bad condition. Hey, you are running into my legs, doggy. Oh, oh we can actually run quicker than she does. Okay. Then she can. Cheyenne. The dog's name is Cheyenne. You are holding your gun in a kind of weird way, lady. Oh no, from here, okay. From here it looks okay. She's got nice and shiny Can hair. Can I on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. Come on! Oh, that was a close one. I think we hit the head, huh?
Gecko hide and gecko meat. Ah, we can drink the water. Okay, that's nice. Alright. Well then. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Lead the way. What's your name again? Sunny? Yeah. You have kind eyes, Sunny. Nice to meet ya. Oh, welcome to the vault tag assisted targeting system of vets. I just clicked V because it said before. Mouse 1, attack your target. Cancel an attack. Mouse 2, E, accept your actions. Left click on the left or right uh, arrows to switch to a new target. The number of attacks you can make is limited by your action points. We can shoot the head. Torso. Hind legs, so let's shoot the head. Twice in the head. Except E. Oh, the dog killed it. She's running away again. Oh, this one doesn't have anything. Gecko egg. Well, she could have waited for us. here like you done I'd be a goner for sure I came up here to draw water but here you should have what I got you look thirsty ah we have established a reputation with a group of people in the wasteland whether that reputation is good or bad we are finally somebody and people associated with that group will start to react to what we've done there are many different factions in the wasteland we can develop a distinct reputation with each one as we perform actions that benefit a group, we will gain fame. If we perform actions that harm a group, we will gain infamy. Our reputation with any given group is a measure of the combined total of fame and infamy that we have earned. The benefits and drawbacks of any given reputation depend on the group itself. We may receive discounts with merchants, provoke attacks from hired thugs, or simply be treated differently. Though we will initially start out with a neutral faction, a reputation, with any given faction, our fame and infamy will eventually push our reputation in different directions. We can see all of our current reputations under the general section of our Pip-Boy. Yeah, we already did that good reputation. Smiling troublemaker. Good-natured rascal. Accepted. Liked, idolized. Yeah, that's nice. Mixed reputation, soft-hearted devil. Dark hero. Mixed. Some good, some bad, unpredictable, good and bad. Wild child, most good, most bad. Bad reputation, sneering punk. Merciful thug, a, sh a shunned person, hated or vilified. Ooh. Books have come to accept you for your helpful nature. That's nice. Yeah, you're welcome. It's fine. Thank you. It's fine. Oh, she she beheaded the thing, huh? A gecko egg. I wonder if we could... Can we actually maybe... How about uh, we domesticate the geckos?
Oh, she's, she's limping. Oh, she's limping. Well, okay, I admit, I admit we were a little bit uh, short. Uh, this toolbox, duct tape, oh, and scrap metal. Well, let's take it. Maybe we can do something. There's a radio. Okay, doesn't need to run if no one is here. Saves the batteries. Oh, there's a car up there. Okay. Sunny, just a second. I just saw a car there. I just want to have a look. Oh, well, okay. Someone took out the engine. And I think it exploded and burned. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing Thanks. I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Sure, that can't hurt. All right, then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. All right, that sounds nice. I think she just asked us out to dinner. Have a dinner together. Okay, it's actually up there. Oh, okay, it's it's actually far away. Well then, we'll we'll get it. Suave Gambler hat. Oh, this here is actually a reference to Indiana Jones. And the movie, I think the, the, the Crystal Skull or something, where he is jumping into a refrigerator. Perception plus one. Oh, ah, and this is like, it, ah, the plus means it's increased due to some items that we wear. That's why our skills are in a plus. Melee weapons and speech. That's the thing, because our jumpsuit has melee weapons. Ah, yeah. There you go. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. No, that's nice. And by the way, that was actually a thing with the uh, with the perk, uh, this this trait. The wild wasteland. I remember. Because I read about it a little bit, what it does, and this was this was a, an example, by the way. Yeah, that's fun. Lots of references. Okay, we need to get up there, and maybe we should actually re reload our rifle. Oh, there are some shots in the distance. Oh. Nice. I think that was a headshot. A bark scorpion.
Okay, well, we, can, we can't we can move the bodies. Okay, well. So whoever is up there heard our shots. Let's sneak up or there's something. It's just a fly. I think we can we can use our uh, let's use our machete for that one. There you go. It did hurt us though. I think it can spit. Looks pretty disgusting, that thing. There's another one. There you go. Blood fly meat. Well, I mean, maybe we can actually make a nice steak out of it or something and eat it together with Sunny. Oh, what's that? Snow globe good springs. We found a limited edition Mojave landmark snow globe. These rare pre-war artifacts are widely considered to be used as baubles, but rumor has it that some collectors would pay dearly for them. Oh, yeah, nice. Bench tin can, a tin can. Empty bottles. Tin can. Let's not open, let's not dig up any graves uh, at the moment. Take all. Yeah, so I think uh, we didn't miss any of them, right? Oh, no, this one, okay. Okay. This here is the pick, uh, the Brock flower, okay. The Brock flower, all right, nice. Keep out. That actually looks like a water tank. Before we venture deeper into the wasteland, we may revise our character. Rebuild character, finish, travel onward. Rebuild character. And it's fine. No! Now we have to do everything again. I didn't want to do that. <sighs> so this one was six. Charisma five. This one was ten, right? We had two points this year. And there are six. Agility, I think, right? Yeah. Perception, endurance. Yeah, so like that. Yeah, that's that's fine. But actually it's very nice that they did it like this. Yeah, we wanted to have the wild wasteland and the small frame, right? So this is considered to be outside or, for, or whatever. Ah, it's because keep out. Okay, well. Oh, nice. Screeching in the wind. 
Okay. I did I hope I didn't mess up anything now, but I think it's fine, right? Yeah, we had or did we have charisma six? Yeah, no, I think it's fine. We only had luck at two. So alright. Let's save the game. And then Someone dug up the, the grave. Ah, okay, we need a shovel, okay. We can't dig it up with our hands, or at least that's, uh, that's not very civilized, so it's fine. Well, it, cer it certainly looks like a real wasteland. Oh, there's a dust devil. That's the scorpion. Barricaded house, so there are not many people living here apparently. Oh, but they do have something. Baseball glove. They have something in their mailbox. There's a trailer. Sensor module. Meeting people. What's that? Meeting people. Must be something. Eh? It's eight. Ah. Ah, it's a magazine. Okay, so magazines work only temporary. So uh, let's keep that. Oh, there are metal boxes here. Camera and iron. I guess we could actually crash in this in this trailer, like make it our home. But not now. Let's firstly collect the other thing. So that's the dog's little estate up there. Oh, by the way, we got hurt, so maybe we, we should ask him uh, to patch us up again. Hello, dog. Sorry to disturb you. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? I'm hurt. I need help, Doc. Don't look like nothing too serious. Let me patch you up. It costs 50 caps. Uh, no, on second so thoughts, we feel, we feel fine. It's fine. It's fine. But uh, actually, tell me about yourself, Doc. Well, I already told you I came from a vault. After that, I was a traveling doctor for a spell. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Most folks out here ain't educated, so people with medical know-how are hard to come by. I found that I could help a lot of people with what I knew, and that was all right with me. Eventually, I went back and married my childhood sweetheart, and that was the end of my traveling days. Didn't miss it none then. Still don't. What happened to your sweetheart? But yeah, oh, you said before you had something taken from you. Well, ain't we all, right? That was a long time ago. I don't pay it much mind anymore. Oh, okay, well then, then we are not going to dig into it. So, to change the subject, what town is this? Uh, this here's Good Springs, named after the water we got here, just down the road to the southeast. Good Springs Source, they call it. It's a quiet uh -huh. town, and that's how we like it. We don't go looking for trouble, though occasionally it sees fit to come looking for us. Uh-huh. And what else can you tell me about the town? Well, there's a general store just up the road, run by a fella named Chet. 
He don't got nothing fancy, but he's got your basics covered. If you're looking to wet your whistle, just past Chet's is the Prospector Saloon. The bartender there, Trudy, knows everyone in town. Other than that, there's not much to see. Just people trying to scratch out a living. Okay. Um. Well, to think about my situation, do you know anything about the man that shot me? I didn't see him or the men with him. You might ask around town, though. Could be someone saw which way they was headed. Your best bet would probably be Trudy, the bartender at the saloon up the road. If anyone saw anything, she'd know about it. Okay, well, I guess no one saw anything because no one wants to get into trouble. But who was it that rescued me? That'd be Victor. Curious fella. He's sort of odd. And I don't just mean because he's a robot. I couldn't tell you much about him. Uh -huh. He's real friendly, don't get me wrong. You just get the sense that that ain't the whole picture. Just a feeling. He keeps okay. to himself mostly. You want to know more about him, you'll have to ask him yourself. He has a shack on the southern edge of town. Okay, a robot with its own shack. Alright then. You take care Goodbye. now. Bye. Um So I guess we have to drink water. Oh, that's a pre-war hat. And that, what does it do? Ah, it's the same thing as the Suave Gambler had. Oh, but we could actually maintain it with this one. Eh, no, 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 no. Um, so I'm not sure if I do this right, so let's rather save it. Let's save. Just so that I don't mess up anything. So we actually, we should be able to repair the Suave Gambler hat, right, with this pre-war hat. Oh yeah. Okay, well, that didn't do much, but uh, a little bit, 9%, okay. So I guess uh, that that is something that we could actually do with the, uh, with the pistol. This 9mm pistol. I just wonder which one is better. The weathered. This one has damage 16. So actually, I think like this one here. Oh, we can't repair it. Why can't we? Maybe we need to go to a workbench or something. Oh yeah, that's probably the thing. Okay. So let's get out of here. Ah, there's the robot. Alright. And that's the direction to this other plant that we need to collect. Hello, kind robot, sir. Oh, he's got Howdy, a cowboy. Partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Oh, that's uh, sympathetic. Uh, yeah, thanks. And thanks for digging me out of that grave. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. That is very noble. How did you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up at the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. That's nice. So we were actually not only shot nearly dead, but also buried alive. So that's really bad. And do you know who those men were who attacked me? You'd say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. I think rascals is an awfully polite thing to say about them, but yeah. How did you end up in Good Springs, by the way? I mean, you are a robot, right? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Uh, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, 
It's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. Okay, that's odd and interesting. Okay, and I've never never seen a robot like you before. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Yeah, I'll do that. So, all right then. Uh, I don't have any other questions at the moment. If you need any repairs, just say a word. Happy trails! Yeah, see you later. Bye-bye. Thanks. Thanks again. Oh, there's something. Something hostile. That's the pistol for 16. And this one actually only does 11. So we might even want to uh, use the pistol, huh? I wonder why we can't repair it, but yeah, let's try it out. And we have 38 shots. We got a warning, so this, ah oh yeah, this must be the sh school. Oh, there's something. Ah, it's a mantis, okay. Giant mantis nymph. Let's shoot it in the head. Nice. Ninety-five percent hit chance. Very good. Shots in the head. Mantis foreleg. Mantis egg and foreleg. Okay, that's interesting. Can we breed them? Like as as a food source. Ah. Pick Sunder root. Okay. So let's go to Sunny now. Ah, that's the robot's check. Okay. That's actually kind of nice. Let's actually check it out. Go to bed. So I know that there. Oh, there is an ammunition box. Oh. Magnum rounds. Well, we, we might. We don't have the weapons, so let's leave them here for the moment. And scrap metal. Fission battery, but it weighs six. Well, wow, that's a lot. Um. A Braxo cleaner for the robot. I guess if the robot tried to use the toilet, he broke it. In the desk, there's nothing. Okay. Oven is empty. Sink. Oh, it's clean water here. That's nice. Oh, that's actually excellent. So let's drink it. That takes a while, but I think we, we shouldn't waste any money, uh, like on paying the doctor. 50 caps for healing us. How many do we have actually? 74, yeah. Another ammunition box. Oh, it has energy cells, okay. Yeah. So let's actually let's try something. 
So I know that there is something like well rested, which gives us more experience. If we sleep like for a longer time, like eight hours, although we shouldn't let the girl wait, right? But let's just try it. Not, it looks like we are not well rested by sleeping. Or maybe it's, uh, it's a different thing. Yeah, so I guess actually uh, there must be, I think it, then it's uh, an owned bed. It needs to be an owned bed. I guess we could have we could have uh, slept here to regenerate our uh, health as well. So we need to have a an owned bed or something. Is she behind this rock? Up there. Well, that's quite far away, actually. And we already searched all of them, right? Well, so this appears to be the party spot where people sit around the campfire and drink whiskey. A large whiskey bottle. Oh, that seems to be still full. Okay. Well then, hello, Sunny. How have you been? I found all the stuff. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right now, we're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Sure. Can I also invite you to some, some meat? Like bloated. Oh, we can't do it. Some bloated uh, fly meat. Eating powder. One. Can only do one. We have only one brock for That's hour. not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Sure. Okay, then thanks again. So I guess you don't want any... Or you, you don't want any bloat meat? No? Well... Can we, can we just talk for a second? Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Yeah. Um, what do you do around here? I hunt geckos mostly. The meat's pretty good and I can always find a buyer for the hides. I also help keep the town clear of rad scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in Good Springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. Interesting. Yeah, we already... Uh, I already found a bark scorpion, not a red scorpion. So, let's talk about the areas around Good sure. Springs. Sure, what do you want to know? 
Um, what other towns are nearby? Southeast of here is Prim. Can't miss it. Uh -huh. Since it has the giant old roller coaster right in the middle of town. The NCR's got an outpost there. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. I wouldn't head that direction mm -hmm. if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. NCR? The new California Republic. Bunch of settlers and soldiers coming in from the west, fixing on making Nevada their own. They can be right pushy, but the roads are safer because of them, so I tend to let it go. Not that I got a choice. And what does the, N the NCR keep you safe from? Well, the wildlife for one thing, rowdy locals for another. They're protecting their own, just happens to help us. They've been holding off this other group from the east too. Okay, what do you know about the other group? Got a funny name. Call themselves Caesar's Legion. Never seen them in these parts, so I couldn't tell you much. I hear rumors, that's about it. Supposedly they keep slaves and they got some real nasty ways of killing folks. But maybe oh. that's just something folks in the NCR cooked up to make themselves seem more useful here. Less uninvited. Hmm. And what kind of creatures are out there? Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs, but otherwise they're nothing to really worry about. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland, but I've never seen them. Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear of the hills north of Good Springs. The critters up there are big and poisonous. Okay. Yeah, can we change If the subject? If you want to know anything else, just ask. Yeah. Um, I need to get to Prim. Can you suggest a route? Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is a town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR All patrols right. do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Okay. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. All right. I'm also a little sh bit short of uh, on caps. I don't suppose there's any other work aware available. Not in Good Springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Ah. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. All right. Oh, thanks. Is magazine on locksmiths? If the lock's too much for you to handle, reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. Okay. And the bobby pins? You'll need those to pick the lock. Be careful, though. Put too much pressure on them and they'll snap. Okay, thanks. That's good to know. You're very generous. Thank you. Always happy to help someone down on their luck. Yeah, I'll take a look at that safe. All right then. So I don't want to hold you back. Until Have next fun. Time. See you in the saloon. Yep. See you at the saloon. So can we do anything here? Ah, so we need... Uh, We need the uh, the skill, big horner meat, Xander root mutant K fungus, blood sausage, or oh, black coffee. Bug scorpion poison gland, or un unfortunately the one, oh blood fly slider, prickly pear fruit. The blood shield. So the blood fly for that we need 20 points in survival, okay. Brahmin steak, empty soda bottle, cram in mesh caravan lunch, cloned barrel, okay. That's all salient green. A Braxo cleaner cloud kiss kiss. That's all poison. Coyote steak for 50 survival. Dark Datura. That could also be a drug or something, Datura. Daturana, flower, purified water and sacred Datura root. Oh, restore limb condition. Okay. Desert salad. Well, it's good that we already know all the recipes. Oh, well, we heard how they could be done. Ah, a gecko steak. Oh. 
but we don't have the survival for that. Gecko bagged leather armor. Oh, that's cool. Leather armor, we don't have one. But that's, I guess that's a better leather armor. What happened? Why can't we look at it anymore? Ah, oh, there's, there's something wrong. So here. Ghost side, jar of cloud residue, grilled mantis leg. Ah, so yeah, we can actually make something with it. Healing powder, that's good. Homebrewed nuca cola. Barrel cactus fruit, soda bottle. Oh, a hydra is also restoring our limb condition. Okay. Large whiskey bottle. Oh, yeah, nice. We've got one. Nevada agar fruit. Yeah, but we need to increase the survival. Okay. Mole red stew. Okay. Oh, a tent golden gecko hide. Doesn't uh, the value is very low though for that one? Trail mix, tremble, wasteland tequila. Well, okay, that's certainly all interesting, but yeah, we need to increase our. Uh, our survival skill for that. All right then. So we are going back to the the saloon and talk to the lady. Um, but I think we should actually mark this area here on our map. Marker there. So this is where the fire is. All right. And also is there another landmark? Not really. Just on the way to this. I think so it's actually on the other side of the of, of the well. Oh, oh, there's another one. And there's a guy there, okay. Hello, kind sir. Barton Thorn. Oh, is he is he crying? We are we are talking with him, but that we will see in the next episode. I just need to have a look here, okay. Oh, it's a double bed. Suitcase, empty suitcase, empty Nuka Cola bottles. Well then. Let's talk with him, but then we will see in the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys. I think we will be the psychologist for this poor man in just a moment. But how things will progress further, we will see in the next episode. So thanks for watching. I would appreciate if you click the like button. Share your thoughts and any questions for me and the community in the comment section. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. So you never ever miss an episode again. See you next time. Bye-bye.